Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing an easy AF makeup tutorial. I'm sorry that I didn't have um, time to make an intro or outro, but I hope you enjoy this video and go ahead and please like and subscribe for some more videos. Hey, what's up you guys? Okay, so today I'm going to be starting with my Marc Jacobs foundation and I'm going to be applying this all over my face. Before this, I did apply my moisturizer and some setting spray. MAC Fix Plus. Now I'm taking my NYX concealer and I'm adding that under my eyes as well as applying that on my chin area and my forehead. And I will be um, blending that out. Now I'm going to be cream contouring. With the cream contour I just go on, the, on uh, my cheekbones and just spread that out a little bit. And then I add some concealer at the bottom to really just um, emphasize it. Now as I blend out um, as you guys can see, you can really see that I cream contoured. I'm adding my RCMA No Color Powder, and I'm applying that lightly under my eyes as well as my chin and my forehead, and a little bit on my nose. I'm taking my Kat Von D Shade Light Palette, and I am bronzing and kind of contouring a little bit, dusting off the bake, and I am now baking um, lo my lower um, cheek area. I am going to apply my Anastasia Dip Brow and going to be doing my eyebrows. I start from the top, I find it a little bit easier, and then I just go slowly down to the bottom. Now I'm going to be cleaning up my eyebrows. I'm going to take the NYX concealer again, and I'm going to clean under my eyebrows. I really did not notice how much this concealer oxidizes until I watched this video, so maybe I can do a review on it. Even though I love it, it really does oxidize like crazy. So now I'm just cleaning up my eyebrows from the top and bottom and I am doing the same thing to my other eyebrow. I'm working on it. I am applying my Anastasia Dip Brow from the top first and then I go ahead and lightly go on the bottom and I just try to get that shape right. I haven't had my same shape, like my good shape eyebrows in like three months because I have messed them up previously. But now I am cleaning that up. I have yet to find my eyebrow lady. I had one and then she stopped working where I usually go. So now I'm just like trying to find another person. But um, still got to work around with my eyebrows. I am cleaning the top now. And I am now blending all of that out. So um, now, oh, okay, Ashley, I hear you. And then I am dusting off that bake from under my cheeks and I'm going with my Tarte Concealer and I am priming my eyes. Now I will be taking some and applying just a little bit and dabbing that everywhere. I'm now going to get ready. I'm priming my eyes. I'm taking the 35N Morphe palette and dusting just a little bit of that white um, eyeshadow all over my eyelid. And this is where I begin my eye look. I'm now using my transitional color. And I'm spreading that all over my eyelid making sure that I get every single area so I can have a really even eyeshadow look and um, digging up the ends as always. It might look a little crazy at first, but trust me you guys, blending is key. And now I'm taking a second color eyeshadow and I am blending that on my outer corner more than anything. Adding in that definition of depth and bringing it inwards on my eyelid. And now I'm just taking a blending brush that didn't have any product and just blending everything out. And I am going to go ahead and add just a little bit of my crease color, and which is just a matte regular kind of mauve color. Since I'm going for an EVAF glam, um, I still want to look good and have color on my eyeshadows. I'm not trying to do like a neutral color, but I am trying to do something quick and easy. So this is what I decided to do. I'm just deepening that up, going a little, I guess you can say I'm going for a kind of a smoky eyelid. And I am now going again with an orange color and just blending all of that out. My key is to always clean, clean with concealer. I'm now cleaning with concealer. I'm getting that sharp line that I did not have. Like I said, it always looks crazy at the beginning, but trust me, at the end, you can always fix that. I'm now blending that in like nothing ever happened. And I'm adding mascara and um, I applied some natural lashes on and I'm now taking the Marc Jacobs eyeliner in black and I am putting that under my lash line. I am now adding some product for my um, lower lash area and I'm just blending that out. You want to make sure you kind of match your eyelid, your bottom eyelid 
your bottom lid to your um top lid. And this is a secret that I have. I always clean, 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 clean with concealer. It's just something I do for myself as well as my client. I just feel like it really gives me like that clean look that I'm looking for. So now I'm just applying a little bit of highlight to the inner corner and I'm applying Viper from ColourPop. And I'm just applying that all over my lip. And that is the look. I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys would like to see more videos, please go ahead and like and subscribe. I really thank you guys for staying tuned and watching this easy tutorial. Again, this was just kind of like a lazy bunny day where you still want to look popping, but you're just not in the mood to do like a whole beat face. But um, you don't want to go neutral at the same time. So um, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. So please go ahead and interact with me on my social media. My Instagram will be listed down below. As well as my um, Snapchat. So please go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.